And we are going to go ahead and get started with getting social. And the reason that I'm having this special edition class is because today is the first day of June. And we have so many fun things that happen in the month of June. And Keller Williams has ever so lovingly pushed out an article for us that shows us 30 tips and templates for an engaging June social media calendar, which is awesome. And so the first thing that I want to do is we'll give it a few more minutes. We've got Kristen coming in, Kayla came in, um, let everybody get loosened up a little bit. So once everybody gets in here, Keon's coming in. Awesome. If you guys can turn your cameras on for us so that you can hang out with us. I will start with our question of the day. So I'm going to start with Mike because he was the first one in and he was the first one to turn his camera on. So he's the first one on my screen. What was the most fun thing that you did this holiday weekend, Mr. Darrow? I went to the pool with my two-year-old and four-year-old granddaughters. Excellent. That sounds wonderful. A little chilly. A little chilly. But that's all right. What about you, Keon? What was the most fun thing you did this weekend? Relaxed. That was it. Hey. I ain't going anywhere to do anything. I just relaxed. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with relaxing. Not at all. All right, Kristen, you're up, sweetie. What did you do this weekend that was fun? And time with the kids. The children's museum opened, so it was nice to go back there and check awesome. that out with the toddler. That is fantastic. And Miss Angel, what about you, honey? What did you do this weekend? I worked my butt off. <laughs> I, I just picked out about answer. 80 bags of rubber mulch. Yeah. Did, did a garden. Worked. Well. That's good. Gardening's always good. That's something I enjoy doing when I have the time. And I don't know. If, yeah. I don't know if Kayla is able to speak. I don't see her camera on, which is okay. I'm in the car rider line. Sorry. You're all right. Go ahead, Kayla. What'd you do this weekend, sweetie? I saw you on mute. Um, I went under contract on my first listing. Yes. Congratulations, Kayla. That is awesome. That is fantastic. Awesome, guys. Great. Well, thank you for, for, for participating with that. It's always fun to get a little energy when we get started. So what we are going to be discussing today is scheduling out our monthly social media posts. That does not mean that you will not be posting. I just listed something. I just put something under contract. I'm having an open house this weekend. All of that stuff is going to come when it comes, right? What this is talking about is going ahead and getting regularly scheduled content scheduled out on your social media so that you can set it and forget it. And the people that I've taught how to do this that have really embraced it and taken over it, it makes them feel so much better because there's nothing worse if you're trying to build your social media following and you forget to post something and you feel scrambled and you have to dig to find content and it's just super stressful. Nobody wants to deal with any of that. So Keller Williams was very nice this month. They sent out 30 tips and templates for an engaging June social media content calendar. So keep in mind, right, these are ideas. It doesn't mean you have to use every one of them. It doesn't mean if they say to share a listing and you don't have a listing, you know, that's okay. But it's 30 full days of things that you can post and ideas. And they have given us graphics that really help to make that, um, easy, easier to do, right? And so a lot of these are ideas you guys will have heard me say before because they're things that I've done on social media for years already. Um, they just gave it in a really nice laid out format. So I wanted to take a look at that with you guys. We'll do a few examples of how this can work and how you can set this up to schedule out your social media so you don't have to do it. So does anybody have any questions before we get started? Anything you want to touch on, be good? Yeah, how do we get to this page for us to use this after the class? That is a great question. So this actually came from Outfront, which is our Keller Williams digital magazine. So if you guys have not yet, visit outfront.kw.com. 
and it takes you to our digital magazine. And it gives us all kinds of things that we can read, watch, and listen to. It links us to a lot of information like Carl Liebert shared his vision um, for an impactful leadership. You can find that on YouTube also. However, everything is kind of linked here. And what's really great about it is that you can share this with agents from other companies if you feel like they might be a good fit for KW. This is a great way for them to learn a little bit about what's going on here at Keller Williams. And you can set up email reminders, which is how I got this. Um, it just came to me in an email on May 24th. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I am scheduling a class around this because this is really great content. Um, so it's also located on the front page of kwconnect.com. You can also find the 30 tips and tri tricks there. And if you get click Let's Getting Social, it will take you right to this list. Um, but I do recommend that you definitely go ahead and schedule yourself to get those out front um, emails because they really give you a lot of great information and things that you might not have thought of because we all get bogged down in the minutia, right? And it, it's hard sometimes to like come up with something when you're already feeling so overwhelmed. So this is definitely helpful, I feel like. It, that's a great question, Kristen. Does anybody else have any questions before we get started? Good, awesome. Okay, so June is Happy National Home Ownership Month, right? So one post that you could schedule today is asking your audience to share their home ownership stories. And so any of these things that you click on, it's going to take you into the designs platform. And you'll see as they add new content, they're up here at the top. Right now I'm under the new designs, right? And so we have several different ones over here that we can schedule and post. One of my favorites as of late is, let me let this load and get myself down to that post. They've added quite a bit in the last, little bit, hold on one spring selling season is a good one. So this 2020 home price appreciation graph, I really enjoy this. So this might be a good one to use because a lot of people, you know, we have this shortage on listings as I'm sure you're all familiar um, with how, how few listings we actually have out there for our buyers. And I really feel like a lot of people might actually sell their property if they knew how much it was worth, right? So in 2020, home price appreciation went up by 9%, which is an all-time record. So, I mean, I'll just throw it out there, for example. Um, I bought my house when the market was down, so I actually ended up getting a good deal on it. My house has gained $110,000 of value since I bought it. Right. So if I wasn't a real estate agent who knew that kind of stuff, that might be of interest to me, right? Maybe there's somebody who's your neighbor or, you know, they're your friend or they're your previous coworker and they don't know that home prices have gone up that much. And maybe if they did know that, they may be willing to sell, which might open up a listing for you to show to one of your buyers or for the rest of your KW family to show to one of our buyers, right? So this is a great visual to let people know how strong the market is for a seller right now. So what you do once you get into designs is if you get in here, you don't need to change anything on the graph. How much money are you leaving on the table? That's a reasonable question. Just come in here and double click into this design put agent first name and last name. Go ahead and pop in your phone number and your website if you would like that. If you have um, your own team logo, which I know that some of you guys do, Mike does and Angel does, I'm sure. Um, I think maybe Keon does. Um, if you have one, you can just, this is somebody's team logo. You can just delete that. 
right? My logo is actually a square. And so if you haven't had a chance to set up my assets and designs, I strongly recommend that you do so. Um, but that is for a different class. And if you have any questions on that and we have time at the end, I can show you if you haven't done it. But this is my team logo. I don't actually have a team, but you know, I like to show you guys how to do stuff. So I'm gonna pop my team logo in here, drop it down here at the bottom. And then I need to switch out the doing business as logo or the DBA name logo here. And so in my assets that I've already got set up, I have all of my logos. I'm in two different market centers. Um, so I have them actually into folders. So I can just go over. I'm pretty cool with the black on transparent background. It looks great on this design. So I just find the same one in my logos and hit this replace button. And now that is done. Done, right? Super quick design. Wouldn't have even taken me that long, except for I was talking to you guys while I was doing it. So I always want to make sure that I rename my designs. And trust me, if you get into making designs, you will see why. Um, I think I have like, I don't know, 700 or something designs in here. So you always want to make sure that you rename them something that you can look up later if you want to use it. And I'm just going to click done. It's going to ask if I want to save it. I'm going to say yes. Okay, and so here's my first tip. It's National Home Ownership Month. Ask your audience to share some home ownership stories. Cool deal. So then my design is done. And I probably would go through and make all of my designs and then go into campaigns to set up your month. But I want to show you how quick and easy it is to actually post these too. So I'm going to go into my campaigns, my little megaphone button on the left. And don't forget, if you ever don't know what these are, you can hover or you can actually click this white KW on the red background and pop out these titles so that you can see which applet is which. Okay. And so now I'm going to create a campaign and it's going to be a social post. And if it's free, it's for me. And these are free, right? So while paid ads are great, if you have regularly scheduled content pushing out on a regular basis, you're really going to drive a lot of traffic to your page. So make sure that you take advantage of the stuff that's free. I mean, set aside a couple of hours, of, you know, a month and set up your whole next month so that you don't have to think about this content later. So now under the text, I can just write happy national. If Monica could, you know, type, that's always good. Home ownership month. Share your story with us. Now, here's where I'm going to pop in something it doesn't say in the um, in that list in this first tip and trick. One thing that I often do and did when I was in real estate is do a giveaway. You really don't even have to pay for it. Find a vendor partner, an insurance person, a lender, um, a home warranty company, maybe make it for a gift card or if you wanted to really get fancy with it you know some lenders might give you a little bit more money if you wanted to maybe give away a grill or something that's really pertinent to the time of year right so next summer we want to be grilling maybe you want to give away a grill right so any kind of giveaway share your story with us to be entered for a chance to win whatever it is right now we have our text in of course, you would put that in your own words. And since we've already made our design, we can just click Browse Design Library, and there it is. We're going to choose that design that we made. And it'll just take it a second to load. Oh, it wasn't ready to use because I made it too fast. Here we go. There we go. So now you can see if you had made this a wide design, you could change it to the wide crop. Um, but this one happened to be a square. You also have a free cropping tool there. Square looks great to me. So I'm just going to leave it as is and click crop image. You're going to see your preview of your design pop up over here on the right. And then all I have to do 
is come down and say, do I want to schedule my post or publish it immediately? So since this was your design for the 1st of June, you can publish it immediately. And so if you have multiple business pages, like your crazy market center tech trainer does, then you can actually post with social media posting, not ads, but posts to all of your business pages. If that message was something you wanted to go across all of your business pages, then you could choose to put that there, right? And so that is completely up to you. You can also post to Twitter as long as your verbiage doesn't go too long, right? Because Twitter has a character limit. The one thing that we can't do in here yet, I have requested it multiple times and I will continue to do so until they give it to me, is for us to be able to social post to Instagram. Um, we can do paid ads to Instagram, but we cannot socially post to Instagram, but that's okay too, because what you can do is just download that design from your design platform. So if you're like just a big Instagrammer and you don't really mess with Facebook, you can just download the design to your computer and you can post it to Instagram just by uploading it, right? Um, but I will keep advocating for posting to Instagram because <laughs> we do need that. And so once that is done and you're happy with the way everything is, and I'm talking, you can really post a lot, right? I have all these random pages I've made at different times to show you guys how to make business pages. And so I can just publish posts and off it will go. I'm going to click publish post and it's going to go out, right? I'm actually going to go ahead and publish it and just take it down later. So you guys can see how easy it is. And then I want you to see what happens back in your, cam in your campaign's um, dashboard once I do this. Just give that one second. Does anybody have any questions about what we just did before we move on to another idea? Buddy, good? I have a question that's related. I just made my business page recently and it hasn't been connected yet. Do I just go down there and do campaigns and that's where I add it? Because that's what I was going to do today anyway. Yeah, I can show you actually how to do that. Thank there. you. Yeah, you, absolutely. So there we go. There's my post. It's going out today. It was published to all seven of my channels, right? And so then you can see it actually in my schedule. So what, what is great up here, you can change this from week to a month view. So what would be awesome is if you see something ready to post on every single day, right? Because that way, you know, that content is going out. And yes, you're going to have those impromptu posts where you're having an open house or a client event, or you just listed something or something went under contract in 24 hours and 25 offers, the way things are doing right now, those posts are going to come too. These are more content-based posts, right? And so let's sideline here so that we can look at where these connections happen. What you're going to do is come to your drop down in your upper right hand corner of command and go to your settings. And once we get there, then you're going to see two places to actually connect Facebook. And it has to be a business page, cannot be your personal page because this is a business and Facebook wants you to post business stuff to your business page right so the first connection that you're going to make with face with facebook is for what we just did free post scheduling so you're just going to connect your account mine is already connected and it will not let you connect it unless you have a business page built and you select that page or multiple pages as i have so if i click manage you can see i can disconnect my whole facebook account here right the second connection for Facebook is actually for the paid ads, which I do have coming up in another class this month. Um, paid ads are a great thing. And especially when we're all getting started in real estate, we're going to lead with revenue. And maybe we'll run a Facebook ad when we get our first closing or, you know, something else. Maybe we set aside an ad budget and we can run it out of that. But definitely do the stuff that's for you guys. There's nothing better than social media. When you reference back into the original MREA, we have the new MREA too, coming out, I hope, sometime this year. And, you know, the fundamentals of this book haven't changed, but what did change is um, page 138, where they're talking to us about um, systematically communicating with our data bank, right? They talk about prospecting versus marketing. This would really fall under marketing. 
Um, and you're getting down into where it's talking about advertising and you don't really see social media in here because social media wasn't really a very big thing back there. We see faxing. You guys want to do some marketing via fax? Let's, let's get that going. Um, you see the yellow pages, newspaper, sorry, all that's a little antiquated and expensive, right? Super expensive. Um, so you will see when the MREA2 comes out that that is the type of stuff that will get updated. Our fundamentals really haven't changed. But that is where we connect our Facebook page. And that being said, I want to make a note because everyone's like, well, nobody follows my business page. So I want it to be on my personal page, right? Somebody in here was going to say that to me. I know you were. So what I like to do, and the good thing about scheduling out your posts is that you can set a clock or a timer or an alarm or a task or however you like to remind yourself to do stuff for when you're posting these. Because you can post these down to a specific time, like 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning, right? At the same time that you did that, you could set a calendar reminder or whatever in your phone and have it ding. And so then what you can do, here's that one I just posted, right? I can actually come down here and, oh, actually, sorry, they moved it. I'm going to come up here in the upper corner and switch myself to being myself, right? This is me personally. This is me business, okay? We're on my business page. I'm going to switch myself to being me. There we go. Now I'm now interacting as my profile, and I can just turn around and share this post. And that is sharing it to my personal page via my business page, which is, keep, which is keeping us number one compliant, right? Both of my market centers are the top two market centers. I'm very, very blessed for that in the entire Triad MLS, right? So if anybody has a target on their back, it's all of us in this Zoom ring, right? Don't do anything wrong, CYA, and make sure that you're posting in regulation with the North Carolina Real Estate Commission and the realtors, right? So making sure that we denote who we are, that we're a real estate agent and the firm with which we work is imperative. And an easy way to do that is to post our business page and then share to our personal page. Benefits of that, protecting yourself. Number two, um, let's see. I have 96 people that like my business page, this one in particular, right? But if I go to my profile, I have 2,377 friends versus 96 people that like my business page. So that means when I share it, it pushes it into the Facebook algorithm so it has a chance to get in front of 2,377 people as opposed to 96, right? The more that I do that and the more that people interact with it, and it will take time. So tell your loved ones, your brother, your cousin, your mother, your father, your husband, your partner, whoever, make sure that you go on my page and like the stuff that I post and comment on, comment on it for me. And in kind... Um, not really this class, but is imperative to social media, make sure that you are posting on other people's things, right? Um, if you want interaction, give interaction, right? Um, if you post something that's got specific ramifications, maybe it's like, um, here's how well my neighborhood is doing and you're friends with 10 neighbors in your neighborhood, tag them, right? Tag them in that post. And they'll like it, and then it'll push it further and further up. It'll drive more and more traffic back to your business Facebook page and hopefully increase your likes, which will push you further up in the algorithms again, right? So it's all just a big cycle. Everybody good? Share it to your personal page. It is definitely worth the extra little bit of time it takes to do that. Hopefully one day that will be automated. We're not there yet. So let's look through a little bit more. We've got some Pride Month posts that were put for us in design. 
It's almost the weekend. Let your let your followers know what's on the market by showing off a recent listing. So if you've got a recent listing, great. Share it, right? So that's a good thing that you can do. I will show you quickly how to do a listing post so that you have an idea of how to do that. If you don't have your own listing and you want to share a listing, there are a lot of people because 25 registered for this class and we have not 25 in the class that just don't like um, taking the time to do social media. That's great. Maybe they want some extra visibility for their listing, right? Or there are lots of people in both market centers that don't mind if you advertise your listing. So I'm just going to go into my office, new listings this week. And this is the Winston-Salem office. I'm sorry, Greensboro, I'm not part of your market center as, as an agent, so I can't pull your stuff quite as easily. Let me look for something good. Gordon Manor, Kyle Road. <whistles> can't believe that house is that much. I actually looked at houses there once upon a time. The amazing Amanda Shore has this listed, um, co-listed with Leslie Francis. I'm sure they won't mind if I borrow this, ladies. So I'm going to take this MLS number here because that's usually the easiest way to look a listing up. I'm also going to remember 411 Kyle Road. So if you wanted to post one of your listings, you're going to come back into command. I think I might have accidentally closed it and I didn't mean to hit that button. I'm going to hit that one. If you don't have command bookmark, by the way, it's a great idea to do so. So let's look at how we can make a post for our listing. Same thing, we're going to pop into designs. We're going to click the plus button in the lower right hand corner. We're making a social design. We want to highlight that and click next. And then on the left hand side, I have all of these fun designs for listings, for buyers. For lead gen, I'm going to check out listings and maybe this is a for sale, right? Or a just listed. Okay, so we have all these different ones that we can make. Let me check out the chat. Yes, I will, Angel. Absolutely. I hope your appointment goes well. Okay, so let's say I like this red one because it stands out to me. So I'm going to take this and click use and there we go. There's our design. Now one of the cool things that we can do in designs is come over to the KWLS button on the side and we need to search for a listing. I'm going to try to do it by MLS number. Make sure I don't have any spaces in there. I'm going to hit enter 411 Kyle Road. There it is. So I'm going to click select. It's going to populate all the pictures that came out of the MLS. What well, this is not my listing, obviously. So if you've asked somebody to post their listing and they said yes, you can do this too, right? So I like this one that shows the woods, for example. So what we're going to do in our design is click the picture that we want to replace and click the recycle button to replace the image. Or you can drag the image you like into the box, whichever one you feel is easier for you. And it really, for me, it depends on the design, um, which I think is easier because sometimes I've accidentally dropped something in the wrong spot and then it irritates me and I have to hit the back arrow and stuff. So whichever way you feel more comfortable. Again, we are going to replace this logo with our own market center, right? We'll change out this address here. And from the KWLS, another fun thing is you actually have listing details. So look, there's the address. I'm replacing this address with this address, replace. Didn't even have to type it, right? Switch out my bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. 
I usually drop square footage or give a range since our MLS gives a range, right? Change out our year, year built. And I'm gonna pretend like I did all that stuff. I'm gonna click done again. It's going to save it, but first I'm gonna rename it like I told you guys to do. So 411 Kyle Road just listed Facebook, all right? So we know what it is. Click done. Yes, I wanna save it, all right? So then I can come into my campaigns again. And like I said, you probably would go ahead and create all your designs and get those done, right? And then maybe go grab a cup of coffee or Diet Dr. Pepper or whatever kind of drink you like to have and then come back and do your posting after you stretch your legs out, right? So we're gonna create a campaign again, social posts, write out our text, just listed, all the nice and fluffy stuff that real estate agents like to say about a property is gonna go there. I'm gonna give it a second. I might just have to click the button twice because I always do it too fast, but we'll see what happens. It might say I did it too fast and we'll just do it again. Sorry, both of my kids are still on Zoom. So they're bogging down my internet. There we go. So there's my design, looks good. I did a square again, so I'm gonna crop image. I don't actually need to have my logo because I already did that in design. So I don't need to have it twice. And I can pick my pages. And now say I wanna schedule this one. What was our suggestion to do this for the weekend? June 3rd, okay. So we can schedule this out for June 3rd by coming down the screen. When do we want it to go out on June 3rd? At what time? I'm gonna stick with 10 a.m., sounds good to me. Pick my pages, schedule the post, and you will see it show up in your calendar. So now I have my post from today, and then I have my post scheduled for Thursday, right? That was listing based. So we can keep working our way through here. I wanted to show you guys a few examples, stuff about refinancing y'all. If you're not sharing that with your people and coming from contribution to tell them how much money they could save right now because of interest rates and they will go up, you're doing the people you know and love a disservice. So let them know about refinancing. I mean, Keller, Keller Mortgage is great, right? Um, so, but if you have somebody that you partner with, that's great. Then share Fairway or Movement Mortgage or Atlantic Bay or whoever it is that you like, right? But refinancing can really save folks a lot of money. It shows them that you care not about just being a salesperson to them, but really helping them, right? Um, so get to know your community about asking them to share one fun thing they are doing this weekend. What did I do when we first got in here, right? That's how we build relationships with people. So ask them, say, send me a picture of what you did for fun this weekend. And at first you might only have your cousin and your brother respond to you and that's okay. You got to keep doing it, right? Consistency is key when it comes to social media, you're not gonna get a ton of engagement at first, but you have to keep it going, right? So speaking positivity, post a piece of gratitude and then invite your followers to share the same, right? So local market updates. If you don't wanna post these yourself, more than likely you can go into your private page of choice and I'm going to pull it off the screen just so that I'm not showing anything I shouldn't be showing on the recording although I don't think there would be anything but if you give me a second I'm going to look up this because I know our loving MCAs and others come into these pages and post market statistics. So then you don't even have to come up with the, with the picture. You just have to save it. Um, let me find one, because I know there are some. But of course, five million things are popping up in the way. 
Okay, found the last one that we can see. Our award banquet pictures is a whole lot of those. Congratulations to everybody that got something at both Market Center's awards, by the way. You guys are rock stars. Bear with me one second. Because I know that we have what's happening in all of the Triad MLS somewhere in here. We also have Red Day. Does anybody remember that? There's a lot of those too. Lots of pictures. Let me find one. I know that I saw one of these in here. We apparently paste a lot of pictures, y'all, which isn't a bad thing. But I digress. There it is. I knew we had it. So right there. In our private Facebook page, there is what's happening in the local market in the last seven days. So you wouldn't even have to create this design. It's right there for you. Right click it, save the picture. It's on your computer now. Then you can go into command and go ahead and schedule it out and get it scheduled to go, right? So we did, or you can create it yourself by doing an MLS, MLS search and getting that design out of designs because it does exist there. So that's a super good one to do. Um, posting stuff about planters, curb appeal. That's a big thing right now, right? Um, if you have a coming soon, if you want to highlight a team member, right? I know productivity coaching does that a lot. That's a great way to give a shout out to your teammate and to engage your folks. And maybe that'll engage somebody new if maybe they weren't friends with you, but they're highlight, but you're highlighting someone on your team, right? Personally branded magazine. Let's touch on that. So we're in our volume two, right? Each magazine has three articles plus other pages that you can add. And another cool thing that they did this time around with Planting Roots, which is this volume, is they gave us some social media posts, right? New quarterly value pack magazine, Social Square, Social Wide. So if you guys have already gone in and updated your magazine, like I have somewhere in all of my posts. Let me see. Hold on, I know it's here. Here it is. So if I open this up, I'm gonna show you guys the trick. If you didn't know it already, we're gonna say I already updated this magazine to my liking. I'm gonna come up here and click the share button in the upper right corner. See that? But when I open this, I'm not going to share this design because that's just this page. I'm going to share the project. And this link, I can copy. It takes you to a digital version of the magazine that your people can flip through the pages, read the articles, read the note from you, read some experience that you've shared with them or whatever you chose to put in your magazine by going to that link, right? So then they also gave us those nice social media post templates. So we can use those, which I already have one. So I'm just going to go to my campaigns. And what day was this? June 11th. So I'm going to go to my campaigns, create social post, check out my magazine, you know, full of info for you and yours, whatever you want to say there. Okay drop the link so they can click on it and get to that digital flippable version. Browse my design library because I already have that design made. It was down a little further. They laid some more stuff. I think you passed it. Did I? I might have. 
because I may or may not be a little bit crazy. There we go. Prime A square. I just love making designs. I just think it's fun. There we go. Crop it, pop it in, got our link, schedule it. They can click on it and start flipping through your magazine. So you can also use that magazine to do the email smart plan campaigns I've shown you. You can post them on Facebook. You can print them out and mail them. You can print them out and hand them out. But this is definitely a cool way that you can use those magazines. And now they gave us a picture to do it. So I used to teach you guys in January, February, and March how to make a social design because you had to make it yourself by taking a screenshot and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, let's see, doing polls. That is a great way to start getting some um, people talking and, and talking back with you. Um, certified deal sealer, that is another new design. So if you get something under contract, you know, if you secured an offer in a contract on a listing that went under contract in 24 hours with 25 offers, that's a W, share it, right? They gave you a design to do it. It's in the templates. It is under, uh, I think it's under spring selling season. I'm right, use, and you can share that here. Also sharing client testimonials. Um, if you get a good testimonial, make a picture of it and share it on Facebook, right? Use it, you can use it multiple times <laughs> in different ways. So share it in different spots. Um, highlight it on your web page or put it on your Facebook page or put it on Instagram or make a TikTok about it. You know, whatever it is that you like to do, share those stories of your successes. Um, we used to actually carry around, who's in here that would remember doing that? Mike might. Remember brag books? Where we had the brag books, the physical brag books. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. We don't have to do that anymore. Just share it on social media, right? We used to like print these things out and we made this go under contract and here's my client's testimonial. You can just use social media for that now, which is great. So, Let's see, hump day posts are some of my favorites. Recipes are some of my favorites. Holidays, we've got Juneteenth coming up. Um, that's a good one that we can be sharing. Side note, market centers are closed on the 18th in celebration of Juneteenth. So don't forget that. We will not be, I will not be working. But um, let's see, bad dad jokes, right? So you have all of these nice things for June. First day of summer, you've got posts for that, right? They're in there 100%. And I'm going to go back so that you can see it. I think now the kids are just playing video games, honestly, and taking my bandwidth because it's 343. Um, new designs. Here we go. I know I saw it somewhere in here. I know that we have new summer stuff. I just saw them. Just saw them. Where are they? The cool thing is you can click in here too. Where was that? The 21st Hello Summer? It'll just take me there. I just get myself crazy opening all these windows though. All right, there we go. Summer solstice. I like this one showing the ocean where I would like to be hanging out right now, but I can't at the moment. That's okay. Um, super cute, super simple. First day of summer, yay summer, <laughs> right? Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Take your logo there, swap it out. Let's hit up the KW1 logo. Come on. Open my folder, thank you. Let's switch that for that one right there. Put that KW1 up in the puffy cloud. There you go. Happy first day of summer, right? Doesn't have to be anything fancy. That's a very simple thing, but it's a thing. It's first day of summer and I'm super excited that it's coming and that hopefully it won't be cold like it was this weekend and make my pool water cold, which made me very unhappy. Um, but there you go. I mean, I'm not gonna keep, going on and on and on, but I wanted to show you guys like 
they're giving you the ideas. And one of the biggest things that I've ever heard since I've been teaching other people how to do this stuff is coming up with the content in the first place. Now you don't have to come up with it. It's there, right? Add a few words or something like that and you're good to go. You've got the pictures there. You don't have to make the graphics. We used to have to do all that stuff and size them and make sure that they were gonna fit, right? And before we go to questions, the last thing I wanna show you, I'm under social posts tab in my campaign. Guys, don't forget about your quick posts. If you're like, Monica, I don't feel like even doing what you showed me how to do. I don't wanna go and make a design. That's okay. How to pin the perfect offer letter, right? Well, I don't really like offer letters, but if you did, you could use that one. Let me move my Zoom bar. The 2020 median house price in America is $297,000, the highest recorded price in US history. That's a pretty awesome thing, right? I like this quick post. I click the arrow going forward. And there it is. It's done. I didn't have to get a picture. I didn't have to do anything. It's already got the words there. I just have to pick my page and hit schedule or publish. It's done. That simple, right? That easy to make these quick posts. If you don't like one of these, New construction, highest it's been since 2007, the year before I got into real estate. That's a long time, right? Look at all these. Got a property sitting on the back burner. Put your oven mitts on, right? Some people, trust me, we have one real house. It was the house that we lived in when I was a teenager. Um, we get letters upon letters upon letters upon phone calls upon letters all the time because they know they're going after non-owner occupied property to see if you want to sell it. Why aren't y'all getting a piece of that action? You can do it right here, right? Put something out there. Um, I mean, really, there, the sky is the limit with what you can do here. These quick posts, you can click shuffle. Today's mortgage rates are so small, you might need a magnifying glass. Super cute, picture's done. Click the green arrow, post it, right? There's so many. Um, this one I think is really cute too. A wise real estate agent once said, it takes more than money to win a bidding war. It's true, right? It's not always just about the cost. That agent was me and that piece of advice has never been more relevant than in today's competitive market. As your agent, I'll make sure you have the right price complete with just the right personal touch to make sure your offer stands out above the rest direct message me to get started. Clean, simple, and to the point. Ready for you to post it. So check this out. Go to outfront.kw.com. Make sure that you're getting the emails because they send out a lot of valuable stuff. I mean, not just social media posts. This one just struck me and I was like, dang, I need to tell everybody about this <laughs> so that you guys can go and schedule this stuff out, right? Um, super, super valuable content. So make sure that you're getting those. Make sure that you're checking out KW Connect because there's a lot of stuff there. Like now streaming, start, turn your social media ads into lead generation machines. That sounds great. It's in 11 minutes, right? Starts at four. Um, that being said, who has questions or who wants to see anything? Any ahas, takeaways, give me three whether it's a question or an aha. I'll call I on have, you. No, I got something. Um, uh, two comments and a question. One, um, thank you for donating on a McDonald's charity. I, I didn't even know. It, I didn't get a notification that you did that. <laughs> I just saw that on your um, screen. <laughs> oh, um, secondly, I need... Um, you offer it like to get out the um, assets set up. I have yeah. a couple of, of the DBAs. I didn't, I don't have as many as you have. So I would like to get in on that whenever you um, are doing that. I can show you that. that right now. So okay. I've, I've been trying to drive you guys away from my kw.kw.com because it will get sunsetted. I don't have an exact date, but they've moved almost okay. everything into KW Connect now. So when you're on the homepage of KW Connect, 
Uh -huh. And Greensboro, I'm sorry, they have not transitioned you guys into the KW1 logos, but if you need them, just email me and I'll send you the file because I do have that. You're going to come over to resources peon and hover and then move down to the marketing. And then once you click on marketing, it's going to bring you in to where you see all this fun stuff, right? Click on logos and branding. And you've got the identity and style guide if you ever want to get like t-shirts, koozies, um, custom signs, any of that stuff made, that's the identity and style guide we were supposed to be following. And then uh -huh. we get some market center logos. And all we do is type in our number, click download, and it gives us a zip file that has all of those logos in them. And it looks like this once you download it. It's got the black and white, the CMYK, and the RGBs and the PMS 200s, all the different color formats. It's got EPS files, which are what like custom sign companies are going to want that EPS file, unless you have like um, designing software, you won't actually be able to open it, but it's the super, super, super high resolution one for them to print large scale. But yeah, that's awesome. All out. right, I come, I come back to that. Um, and, uh, and my question is, I really like the out front and the, the calendar for the whole month. Mm -hmm. um, do you think it is overkill to post every day? I'm just, I'm just wondering. I mean, I know I, I mix in a lot of personal um, with a little bit of business just to let people know that I'm in business, but I see that it has posts for every single day and I know I have the option to choose, but I'm just wondering how much do you feel like it's too much? When, when I was doing it myself, I posted three times a week, not including impromptu stuff. I had three scheduled posts a week. And normally it was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so Monday, I usually shared something motivational. Wednesday, I usually shared a recipe. Like I tried to find a soup because I'm a mom, single mom, got kids, you know, got to feed them. So I always tried to post something super easy, like stop at the grocery store and pick up these five ingredients and have dinner on the table in 25 minutes, kind of hump day recipe. And then Fridays, I usually either posted like, I mean, even when I was at not Keller Williams, I usually posted something like my website um, to get people searching, you know, and now I'll probably be posting like my app link or something like that. But I like these tips and tricks because there's something fresh. And especially during the summer when we have so many holidays and special days and Memorial Day and Labor Day and 4th of July and Juneteenth. And I mean, just there's so many days for us. I do enjoy the holiday type post a lot too. And I like stuff that's funny. And I always like first day of spring, first day of summer, first day of fall, first day of winter. Set your clocks forward, set your clocks back. Those are all things that I posted just like religiously. I mean, I don't know that every day is necessarily if you're mixing it with your personal stuff, but this is kind of telling you to do that, right? Um, like sharing an inspirational quote or something that means a lot to you. Um, asking people what they're doing this weekend. I definitely am an, a huge advocate of 80-20. 80% personal, 20% business. Because um, they want to know that we're a person, not a salesman, right? So, I mean, I would just pick and choose your comfort level. Plus, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be different, honestly, for different ages of people. You know, I mean, think about people that post on Instagram, post on Instagram multiple times a day, not just once, not just twice. Sometimes a whole lot more than that. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't hate every day, but that would take a long time. So I would probably pick three days a week if I had to give. Okay. What else guys? You got six minutes. Questions, comments. Do you guys need to see 
where to set up your um, assets? Or do you know how to do that? I would like to see that if possible. Sure. Okay. So one thing to keep in mind when you go into designs, I'm going to take us all the way back so that you can see it and see exactly how to get there because I do hear some confusion there sometimes. When you're first going into designs, you're still in command, right? You still see your applets over here on the left. You need to move into the WeBrand system, which means you get this logo up here. WeBrand is the company that we partnered with to give us all of these designs and this functionality. So you'll see when I've actually moved into the system, I've lost my command applets on the left, right? Because I'm in the WeBrand system. And that's where we need to be. So in order to get there, you have to at minimum hit your plus, pick one of these not email, but social print or video, and click next. And then you'll see yourself coming into the WeBrand system. And once you're here, then you'll see brand assets at the top. So you can come up with color palettes. And this is actually my color palette that I use for my business. Um, these are just test palettes I set up for different times I was teaching classes. Um, but you can set up as many as you want, right? If you have a custom font for your um, brand, you can upload it as long as it is in one of these five file types, okay? Logos, here's where I made those folders. You can see the plus folder button up here in the upper right. I do keep a generic KW logo since I work between two market centers. If I'm branding something for both market centers, I don't want to pick one or the other. So I just use the one that doesn't have a DBA logo. So I've uploaded all of those here. The smart text is where you can replace all that text. So like my bios here, my app link, um, my multiple websites, the company address, my Facebook personal link, all that. Any images that you use on a regular basis can go here. If you want to upload any elements like the Facebook, um, follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Snapchat, whatever. Videos, if you're going to add those, make sure it's videos that you're going to want to use repeatedly. And when you upload them, I actually showed somebody this the other day. Um, that's why Mr. Ken Posick, if you don't follow him, please do, because he's amazing. Um, you have to upload it via YouTube link. So that's how you have to get your video in there. So if you record a video of yourself, you can actually put it on YouTube and then it gets its own little link. And that's how you add the videos to your brand assets and then files. So I just dropped a working with real estate agents in here, something that you might need to send on a regular basis. Good deal. And then to get out of here, to go back into command, you just hit the X in the upper right and it'll take you back. All right, guys, no more questions? Nothing? All right, I will have this video saved and I will get it put on my YouTube channel later this afternoon. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye.